It's fall here at Blueprint. I am Rachel Metz, and I don't know about you guys, but I host a lot of parties and gatherings with my family and friends. So today I wanted to show you a fall wall decor that also doubles as a customizable chalkboard. To begin with, you're gonna need a frame, and I actually sourced mine at my local thrift store. Take out the old artwork and the glass. I wanna go ahead and add the first layer of chalkboard paint. Once you have your first coat of chalkboard paint, you wanna go ahead and set it aside and let this dry, because we do have to add our second coat. During that time, you want to sand down your frame. I wanna add a little bit of a darker tone, a little new character to this old frame. You wanna go in with a damp cloth, and you want this to be like a lint-free rag, and that sounds really crazy, but literally it's like a t-shirt material. The reason that we want to wipe this guy down is you do not want to stain it with dust on it. It's just going to look super cruddy and gritty and gross, so you want to make sure it's nice and clean. I'm going to put the second layer on the chalkboard and then go back to stain this one. Whichever way you painted the paint before, you want to do the opposite direction. So the reason that you want to add a layer vertical and then one horizontal is to catch the chalk better and just make sure that it sticks versus it just slipping off the surface. I personally prefer to stain it because I am a woodworker, so I love seeing the natural grain of the wood. Now, for those of you who haven't worked with stain before, you can leave it really as long as you want. It just depends on the look that you are going for. Now that our frame is dry, we're gonna go ahead and wipe off the excess stain with a rag that I've mentioned to you guys before. You want a lint-free one. Now that we have the excess stain wiped off, we're gonna insert the dry chalkboard that we made previously with some hot glue. You wanna flip the frame over and then have your hot glue gun ready to go. And then basically, you don't wanna trim the chalkboard piece, you wanna trim the inside of your frame. That way you're not like gonna get the paint all melty. So now you just wanna make sure you're obviously putting the chalkboard facing down. So you're gonna see the beautiful artwork on the back from my thrift find. While the hot glue dries, you wanna go ahead and add whatever kind of form of hanging that you want. I'm just gonna actually staple gun a piece of rope that I had on hand already. Everything's stapled, glued, and secured. It's time for the fun part. We're just gonna flip this guy around and add our fall accoutrements. I like to lay them out before I glue, because it's inevitable I'm gonna change my mind. That's just how I work. But if you are confident enough to glue as you go, please feel free to do so. I'm gonna add my quote, which just says, come in and get cozy. I actually designed it myself on my computer, just printed it out. I'm gonna show you, for us people that don't freehand very well, I'm gonna give you a little trick of the trade. All you wanna do is flip this guy over and cover wherever there is ink from your computer with pencil. When you have all your ink covered with pencil, you wanna just flip it over, grab your chalkboard, and place it where you'd like. When you have it placed where you'd like it, do secure it with just a little piece of tape. You don't have to go too crazy, because again, we're kind of taping onto the chalkboard itself. Now all you have to do is go in with your pencil and trace it literally until you're done completing all of the lines. When you peel it off, you should have a little guideline of what you can trace with chalk, or if you are painting it directly on and keeping the quote, you can do that as well. So this is where you wanna get a little detail to make sure you're not being sloppy. You want nice, clean lines. I'm so excited with how this guy turned out. This all in all took me about an hour, and I love how you can customize the quote to be a sign for a dessert table for your fall gathering, or if you just wanted to have some kind of personal quote for whatever family friend function you're throwing this holiday season. It's just the perfect wall hanging for any level of DIYer. I'm gonna go hang this up in my house, but be sure to check out Blueprint for all your fall and holiday inspiration.